You're entered into a competition to win a 9 meter GTS 6. Yo, what's up guys? Mike here. So today I'm gonna teach you how to do a super advanced trick, one of my favorite tricks, and it's called the boogie loop. So a boogie loop is an inverted front roll kite loop. That means you're going upside down, inverted, feet above your head, front roll because you're rotating forwards, and you're pulling a kite loop when you're upside down. Super fucking cool, a little bit sketchy, and I'm gonna try and make this trick safer for you. This trick was invented by Ruben Lenton, one of the fathers of big air kiteboarding. So it's only a boogie loop if you're inverted. A boogie loop and a front roll kite loop are two different things. With a boogie loop, you're rotating this way. With a front roll kite loop, you're rotating this way and then pulling the loop. So a boogie loop is way more classy and I'm gonna tell you why. When you do a front roll kite loop, you're doing most of your front roll, coming out of it, and then boom, cranking a loop, and you get yanked out, and it doesn't look very graceful. On the other hand, when you do a kite loop, this is what we're looking for. We're looking for a tense core, bent knees, body in control, square to the kite, and ready for that pull to kick in. Now, the cool thing about a boogie loop is you can do that just upside down. So you're upside down, abs are engaged, knees are pulled in, and you're still facing the kite. You're square to the kite and ready for that pull. So, don't learn to do front roll kite loops, but do learn how to do boogie loops. They're fucking dope. And guys, this isn't a trick you wanna mess with. You can get injured. Don't do it in a super strong wind first. And once more, I recommend doing it on a kite like an eight meter because it's gonna catch you super fast or a seven meter. Whereas a nine is a little bit in that sketchy zone. I recommend following these steps in order to make your boogie loop journey as safe as possible. Learn to do high kite loops. Making sure you aren't going downwind or losing your edge in any way during the takeoff. This negates line tension and the kite might not catch you. Trust me, I know. <laughs> Learn the inverted front roll. As you leave the water, throw your head down and your back leg up. So you want to think of it like doing a cartwheel. Next is the big inverted front roll. One of the most common mistakes that holds people back from doing a proper boogie loop is that they don't have a big inverted front roll in the bag. If you can't do a big inverted front roll, you shouldn't be trying boogie loops. You're focusing on the wrong goals, slowing your progression and putting yourself at risk of getting injured. Kite loops become safer the higher you go. So in order to make your boogie loops as safe as possible, I want you to master the big inverted front roll first. The thing that holds people back is that they're often doing a completely different jump when trying them. Doing things like riding with less power on approach, sending the kite less aggressively, or sheeting in less. One really common mistake when learning to do big jumps with rotations is losing track of where the kite is and falling out of the sky. Oh my God. So what you want to work on is riding with good power, edging, focusing on your timing, sending the kite fast, sheeting in at the right time and pulling that bar in completely. You don't want to avoid the power. You need to learn to embrace and handle that power. Once you're comfortable with big inverted front rolls and big kite loops, then you're ready for the boogie loop. In order to ensure that you reach full inversion only at the top of your jump, you need to make sure that you're rotating slowly. If you rotate too fast, you're gonna reach that inverted point when you're still going up. You don't wanna do that. If you're coming out of the rotation, you've rotated past full inversion, kind of past 12 o'clock for your body, and you pull that loop, it's not gonna look very good, you're not gonna be square to the kite, and that yank can kind of disorientate you further. If you look at your jump, you've got your riding and your flying phase. At the point of takeoff, your kite is very powered. Your kite is running out of power as you continue to fly. For this reason, if you pull your loop too early, your kite will still have lots of power and the loop will yank you. If you pull it later, 
the power is more manageable and you will have jumped higher. If you wait too long, the kite will have run out of power and the loop won't catch you. So you want to aim to pull your loops in this kind of middle safe zone where you're still getting a good yank but you can control the power and you're getting good height. So boogie loop's quite an interesting trick in that sometimes it's not just me, we have a habit of putting that kite too low. Like when you're going upside down and you, maybe your body is quite close to the bar, we will under pull and understeer that loop and then that kite goes super low and you can sometimes really badly understeer it and it won't come up to catch you and you'll eat shit. So make sure that you really crank that bar the first few times because you're not trying to put it low, you're just trying to learn how to do the trick. Trust me, it's gonna happen. Hopefully it doesn't, thanks to this tip. A really common mistake for the boogie loop is dangling legs. After you come out of the boogie and you're coming down, it's easy to have dangling legs and what you wanna do is pull that core in, engage those leg muscles, leave one of your legs leading the charge swing under that kite with control, just tense up all the muscles in your body to make it look really sick and maintain composure. And the last thing to keep in mind for an inverted front roll is you wanna put that board, when you're looking upside down, you wanna put that board on the lines. Carve, pop, boom, inverted, and get that board pressed close to the lines. Real masters of this, to me, are Yannick and Martin. They sometimes even go past inversion, it's insane. And once more, I recommend doing it on a kite like an eight meter because it's gonna catch you super fast or a seven meter. Whereas a nine is a little bit in that sketchy zone. Guys, to sum it up, when you're going for the boogie, the things you gotta be thinking about are bringing a lot of power into that jump to give you the height. Now, when you carve and pop, you need that to be in sync with your kite movement to really make sure that you get a lot of height in that jump. And as you pop, bringing your head down, feet up, rotating slowly as you approach the top of the jump. You wanna reach full inversion and making sure that you pull that loop really late so that it doesn't yank you really hard and pull you maybe out of the boogie or make you lose control. And also crank that loop as hard as you can so the loop is nice and high and it doesn't come down low. And you're gonna make sure that loop is gonna catch you. And then when you're coming out of the boogie, make sure that you tense up all your muscles, maintain a tense core, tense legs, stay strong and swing your heli loop and land it. What's up guys? I'm in California at the moment and I'm gonna be doing a US road trip in my van for the next two months or so. I'm heading up to Hood River and I am frothing to kite. It's been way too long. But guys, I just wanna say thank you so much to all of you who added destinations to the Big Air Guide. It's live now at bigairkite.com. Uh, you'll find the link down below. And some of you guys added one destination, but if you've read the instructions, you'll see that you have to add three destinations in order to get a shirt. So I don't want anybody feeling hard done by. I really appreciate what you've done there. We all do. And if you want to get a shirt, you can either buy one. They're purchasable on the site, or you can add two more destinations. Oh, and guys, there's a guy, Rito or Reto, who added three destinations and I don't know your email address, that's my bad. I should have gotten that from you. So if you could just send me an email, I'll make sure that we can get your shirt to you ASAP. Guys, check out the guide. You can do things like filter by the months that you wanna travel. If you wanna jump like left foot or right foot forward, the temperature, are you looking for a party destination? Is it family friendly? How's the internet? Can you charge your Tesla? I'm super proud of it. I'm gonna use it myself to plan my Big Air travels. Yeah, guys, Big Air Kite is gonna be everything Big Air related. Check it out, bigairkite.com. Ride of the episode for me is a no-brainer. It goes to Yannick for doing a boogie loop, board off, down loop or dirty loop, late front roll. What? That's just unbelievable. I can't believe what I just said. sure to subscribe to my channel give a little like so YouTube knows that this video is sick and let me know what you want to learn next 
Guys, another thing, if you purchase anything on bigairkite.com, you're entered into a competition to win a nine meter GTS 6. Even if it's just a t-shirt, you can win a kite. So head over there, check it out, see what it's all about. And thank you for watching. Meow.